No sounds, no whistles, no hoots allowed at the U.S. Open. And that starts tomorrow in Pebble Beach. Merchandise likely to be very popular. Bloomberg Sports contributor Rick Haro has this story. Sales in the $2.5 billion market for golf equipment have fallen 11 percent since 2008. But tailor-made Adidas actually saw a pop, though a small one, in sales. In 2009, the Carlsbad, California-based company saw revenues jump to $831 million from $812 million the year before. We've been growing, and we've even grown the last couple of years in the tough economy. But I don't think it's the diversification of products. It's the new innovative products. And I think what you find with consumers is no matter how tough the economy is, if you bring something out that's new and interesting and they think that it's, it's going to help their golf game, they buy it. One of its prime marketing opportunities is this week's U.S. Open especially in the 30,000 square foot pavilion at Pebble Beach that features more than 490,000 pieces of merchandise from clubs to plaid knickers to everything in between. Inside, just about every major brand has its own section. And for the golfer that goes on to win the U.S. Open, there surely will be a happy sponsor in the background. All of the additional media exposure translates into more sales and justifies the extra preparation. I'm contributing editor Rick Haro, and this is Beyond the Box Score.